guys, it's Kristen Pope from Team USA Weightlifting and today I'm going to be talking you through the beginning tutorial of doing a clean and jerk. Clean and jerk is the second movement in Olympic weightlifting in competition and it differs from the snatch in that it is two separate movements from the ground to overhead. You're gonna first do the clean and then do the jerk. So let's first break down the clean. The pull is very similar to the snatch. You're going to start with your feet hip distance when you set up next to the bar, but this time you want the bar a bit closer to your shin, right about touching, to the point where you would almost scrape your shin like a deadlift. Your grip is going to be determined by how you would grip your front squat. So for me, that's about one thumb distance away from my legs because my mobility is limited in my front rack position. Some people can grip a bit wider and then you will be able to pull it higher up on your hip. Some people can only front squat like this, so they have to narrow their grip. You'll have to play around with it based on how you're comfortable doing the squat. We're using the hook grip again, wrapping the thumb around the bar and then fingers squeezing the thumb. You're gonna start the first pull straight up to the knee. And then continue on just like the snatch, straight up to the knee and then push your knees back for the second part. So you can see my contact is right about mid-thigh before I would start my jump and shrug. Uh, that would be the next part of the pull is your explosion. You're going to make contact on the thigh, rebend those knees where you would jump like you would do a box jump or a high jump and shrug at the top for the extension. So the full pull is going to look like this. making contact, I'm not banging the bar against my legs. It's just brushing the thigh and using that momentum to get the bar weightless at the top. You don't want the bar to swing away from you. You want it to continue vertical. That way you have time to jump under it into your squat. A lot of people confuse the clean with like a deadlift and then a front squat. As you can see, the bar path is actually a lot different than a deadlift. You're not going to pull your hips through at the top. You're gonna leave your hips back and stay over the bar as long as possible. That way when you extend, you end up going vertical instead of bouncing the bar forward. The next part of the clean is going to be pulling yourself down into the squat. So just like in the snatch, you're gonna pull your elbows high and then whip your elbows around into the front squat. It's very easy to let the bar crash onto your shoulders in the front squat. So I'm keeping my hook grip in to try to direct the bar right onto my shoulders. You can see I'm not letting go of the bar at all. Your mobility might restrict you from that and you might have to open your hand, so I'll demonstrate that too. Either way, you want to direct the bar straight onto the shoulder as fast as possible so it doesn't crash on you on the hole because it'll make standing up a lot harder. The second movement is the jerk, and that is going from shoulder to overhead. There's a few different styles you can use in competition for the jerk. The most popular is the split jerk, and then there's also a power jerk and squat jerk. Today we're going to talk about the split jerk because that's what you see most athletes doing. The easiest way to decide which leg you're going to use for your split is to have someone basically just push you a little bit and see which leg you step out with. Like if I was falling, which leg would I want to catch me? It's usually your dominant side, maybe the side that you write with. To set up the split, you want your hips to be straight down. So you're gonna be in a staggered stance, just like you would do a lunge. This back knee is pointing down and my feet are still right at hip distance. So the bar is gonna sit here and I want the bar straight over my hip so the weight is evenly distributed on both legs. After you stand up with the clean, the first part of the jerk is the dip. So you're gonna hold the bar on your shoulders, chest nice and proud, tight stomach, and you're going to dip like you would jump for a high jump, just like we talked about earlier, and then land in that split stance. For the recovery, you always wanna move your front foot back first. 
then your back foot, and the lift is finished when your feet are back parallel with the bar. That's it for this instruction guide of the basics of the clan jerk. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you want to see more tutorials like this, let me know in the comments as well, and I will see you then.